What's up guys? It's been a while since I did a YouTube video. Just thought I'd do my, I think this is my first unboxing video. So I uh, I ordered this uh, a while back, um, back in May when it was first uh, uh, opened for pre-order. I got the uh, the email that it, uh, my order was being prepared to ship. Uh, was it the... Uh, couple weeks ago and I got my shipping notice on the 11th or so anyway uh, it delivered to my house just a few hours I left town so this box has been sitting in my front porch for three days I just got home from a, a, a road trip to see my daughter uh, up in uh, Georgia so it's, it's around uh, almost midnight just got home and it still was in my front porch so I'm thankful for that so without uh, any further ado let's get started let's open this up I uh, wonder what it could be I I'm sure you guys could take a guess you know with a couple of items that's uh, on display right now um, so let's see so this would be the first time you guys would be seeing it same time as as I will okay all right nice uh, packaging so we'll put this over here and look at that oh dual analog dual you guys know you guys been following uh, this uh, this has been like three years in the making uh, when they first announced this I was super excited being a lifelong uh, topographic 16 fan uh, let's see if I can open this carefully you know what I'm just gonna rip this open I don't really care about the uh, outer wrap yeah I uh, I didn't have a a duel originally uh, growing up I had a uh, we had a topographic 16 we bought that uh, from M Montgomery Wards uh, when I was in sixth grade so I believe it was around one 1990 or 91 oh yeah look at this this is my second uh, analog uh, product the first one is the uh, analog pocket awesome and hell right you see there I have my topographic CD and then I have the original turbo duel all right so we'll take a look and compare it oh yeah you know when I uh, when I first saw this, I thought it was going to be original size as the as the uh, original system. So it's a tad smaller. Uh, see, you can see it's about twenty what twenty percent smaller. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go through the rest of the box. So you got. Uh, your little plastic cover and you got the USB port USB charger uh, this looks like it's a what is this USB-C cable okay, and this is the uh, HDMI so we're just gonna leave this HDMI here all I'm gonna take is the USB-C USB cable and the adapter all right let's take a look in the back all right see so the front you got your hook card slot and your CD drive it's it's yeah, this is really light. I know you guys can see that together. Alright. The 
the back. You got your USB-C power cable, two USB port, HDMI and SD card. On the side, uh, your uh, original PC Engine or Turbo Dual controller port, a uh, audio uh, earphone jack, your volume knob for the earphone jack, I assume. And this is uh, looks like your pairing button for your wireless Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz control. So I just want to see if it supports Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz control. I have a couple of those. So let's see. Oh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. This is the one that I bought for my uh, uh, TurboGrafx Mini. Yeah, so well. Let's take a look. So let's see. Let's fire this uh, bad boy up. So you're gonna watch me uh, firing up for the very first time as well. I might try just to use the the cable that I had hooked up for the uh, analog pocket. So maybe that will work. Okay, sit there right there. Uh, I'm gonna change my uh, input. Okay. input one or two it may not like the uh, power adapter for for the uh, um, analog pocket so we want to try to use uh, the original power adapter for it see what that would do Alright. Okay. Let's see. Put this right here. Okay. Ah. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to hook up the um, original Turbo Dual Control to it, just to get it set up, uh, do the uh, pairing of the 8-bit uh, Dual Control later on. Alright, so here we go. Uh, light lights up. Uh, make sure I select the correct input. So is it HDMI 1? No. HDMI 2? No. HDMI 3. There we go. HDMI 3. Alright. I got something on the screen. Huh. Do Start the tool for best experience. Do require a dedicated SD card to support analog OS feature in the original save game. Do not. Okay. Alright, skip through that. Alright. Oh, I need to update. I guess I'll do an update later. 
just going to continue. Hi. December. What day is the day? 16th? I think. I'll check back later. What time? 11. 40. PM. this put in the original Hugh card game Ninja Spirit yeah I feel kind of loose then when they write when they mix the insertion insertion that has a, a a firm grip to it and now it shows up as a game card as Ninja Spirit Okay, continue. Play. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, feels like the real thing to me. No input lag. Turbo switch works great. You could uh, mess with the scan line also. Right now, it's just playing, you know, uh, as a default right out of the box. Oh, yeah. This is uh, my favorite uh, ninja game. One of, the, one of the games that was in the, that we had uh, growing up. We only had like 10 or, 10, or, 10 or so games. This is one of them. Uh, we didn't play, uh, I didn't play uh, any CD games until uh, when I got my first Turbo Duel when I started college in 1999. All right, let's let's uh, try a CD game. So we're looking at uh, see what CD game should we try. Uh, let's try uh, Gate of Thunder. Let's see. All right. So how do we get back to the main menu? Huh, not sure. So what I'm gonna do? Um, So let me, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pair while I'm here. So I'm going to turn this off. I think I have some juice left. Yeah. I'm going to do it without the instructions. I'm gonna have to read the instruction on how to pair this. Uh, with that, never mind. Uh, so let's uh, power this off. Pull the card out. Yeah. Power back on. Uh, let's put in menus come back on. Put in this. Can you hear it working? Look at that. 
it says reading CD yeah reading CD reading still reading this is cool that I can play the original Hugh card and the uh, CD you know there's so many ways to play uh, the games, but you know, the only authentic way is to actually use the original system with the the Hue card and this, and this is the uh, next best thing. Okay, come on, how do you start this? My cable wasn't all the way in. There we go. Play. It has the same startup menu. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Look at this. If you asked me 20 years ago, if there would ever be a, a modern system they would take CD and Hue card and play it on a 4K TV, I wouldn't uh, believe you. Yeah. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for uh, watching this uh, unboxing w uh, video with me for the first time. Uh, hopefully I can, uh, yeah figure out the uh, pairing on the Bluetooth uh, to this uh, to the 8-bit dual controller wherever it's at until next time game on keep gaming on